This your boy P-I-L-L kicking it with Droz Daily Steezing.com. How at your boy. What up, man? It's your boy Freddie Gibbs. You know what the fuck I'm smoking on, man. I'm out here in a motherfucking uh, LA, West Coast, America, but I'm about to come out there and fuck with Denmark on Droz Daily Steezing, nigga. Fuck with me. DDS. Yo, it's your boy Foul March. We doing it live right now. This is Droz Daily Steezing. You already know what it is. We're hanging make some noise! Let's get up, brother. We still have Pharaoh Monty filming. What up, Pharaoh, man? What's up, what's, what's up, up man? man? Thanks for a great show, man. Oh, thank <laughs> you, thank you. So, you've been here several times. What do you like about Denmark? <laughs> Let's just uh, always say when I go to uh, different countries and cities, I feel for creative energy. It's just a dope artistic energy in Copenhagen in general, like, as soon as you land, you feel like, I feel like, rather, I could draw or paint or verses start coming to my head. So I like the energy of the city, as well as the crowd are um, very well versed in intellectual hip hop crowd. So that always makes it dope to perform here. Welcome to the Denmark, we got this present for you. Okay, okay. You can take a look. That's crazy. I get a lot of presents. Yeah, this one's special. <laughs> wow. What the that, that's actually the name of the block. This is hot. Yeah. And we got this thing also. You can take a look at this. <laughs> Does that remind you of something? It's my birthday. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> With the, with the uh, Pharaoh Munch inside. Yeah, yeah exactly. That's exactly. the blood's name and Pharaoh Munch inside. Thank you, man. I appreciate yeah. that. <laughs> so, um, you're born the 31st of October, right? Right. Um, and you actually are born the same day as Vanilla Ice, Willow Smith, and uh, a Danish artist called Natasha. Mm -hmm. She Unfortunately, she passed away. She got killed in Jamaica. Rest in peace to her. Um, Natasha, she warmed up for Queen Latifah. Um, do you know which relation Queen Latifah has on your new album? Do I know? Yeah. What relation that Latifah has on my new album? Exactly. Yeah. No, I don't know. Um, you have a track on the new album called the Black Hand Side. Right. And uh, Latifah, she used that title on a track in 94. Yeah, I did. yeah you're right. <laughs> I, did, I did recently see that. Um, I was... Uh, looking to see if it was up on um, YouTube and I just put in black hand side and that song came up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Rub it, rub it. Rub it, rub it. Okay. On the track Clap from War, uh, you sampled a skit, an Ice Cube skit from his Kill at Will EP um, done by JD. Mm -hmm. What does this sample say? What's the sample? Yeah. What's the sample? The sample is from a from from a, from from a track cream? called Clap, yeah. Oh, for the Clap Joint. Oh, yeah, exactly. you know, it says, um, "Police eat a dick, yeah. straight up." Police eat a dick, straight up. You know why? Clap, clap, on, clap, on. clap. Why, why do you, why do you have this anger towards the police? Um, <clears throat> you know, the sentiment of the song was written out of uh, anger after the Sean Bell uh, killing the Queens, you know, night before his wedding. It, it, it really doesn't uh, boil down to him. It's just a, 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 a bunch of incidents that happened throughout my lifetime where the police, I feel unjust and and uh, uh, overuse of, of violence and force in those situations. In that specific situation, I felt like they should have shut the fucking club down prior to that entire incident if all of those things were wrong with the club. But anyway, yeah, you know, that's just the sentiment of the song. I felt angry and I like to express exactly how I'm feeling, which is why I, it takes me a while to um, have a certain emotion and sentiment to songs to put on there. And I was really uh, angry when I wrote that song. And even the first verse, some of it died down and I put it down. 
and I picked it up again after some more incidents and wrote the ending over the clapping, you know, during another incident. So, um, you know, the, the song is broader and um, I want to evoke a question of how can we resolve this situation instead of just fuck the police. It's not really a fuck the police record. It's uh, a couple of things that are wrong with citizens and authority, impoverished people and authority, how I feel when I get pulled over and uh, things of that nature. And um, I think what really uh, took it to the next level was the video. So you have a couple of layers on the song as well, as well as some layers in the video where we show a police raid going wrong um, and we examine the situation from a black cop's perspective. Specifically, didn't want to use a white police officer because we didn't want to make the visual a racial issue. And, um, you know, my, my, my brother and my oldest brother was a police officer as well, so it's not like, um, you know, it's senseless, like, yo, fuck the police, fuck the police. I wanted to really examine a couple of things and bring up a couple of situations where we, um, you know, we, we can have discussion about it later. And even when we, um, when we were screening the film during the beginning of the album, like, it was just, people were so emotionally moved. So I think it's a piece of art, it's a film, and it's uh, inspirational as well, you know? Munch uh, is because uh, I'm on Chichi doll. Right. Um, and Pharaoh is given by principal who you had a group called you had a group with called Organized Confusion. Mm -hmm. Where it used to beatbox in the beginning. Mm -hmm. Can you still beatbox? Nah, I suck. You suck. <laughs> I, suck I suck then too. <laughs> so we can't hear a snippet. Nah, I sucked then back in the days too. I, I you know, as to what was going on in the beatbox world, I thought I was pretty dope for what was going on, but I, I couldn't really push the envelope the way I wanted to. I had a couple. I had a couple of go-to beats and shit, but you know, um, we sought out to make a, um, a, a tape. And um, I, I didn't have any rhymes back then. I was beatboxing, he was MCing. We did it, we recorded it. I got the tape home, put the shit in my radio, and I was just like, this is the wackest shit ever in life. <laughs> fuck you beatboxing, you know, what the fuck is this? <laughs> you know? Yeah, yeah okay. But are you gonna reunite? Gonna reunite? Yeah. Um, With organized confusion. Five words. Who knows what the future holds? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. Your good friend OC appears on the track Fudge Podge, mm -hmm. and he and he had a group uh, called DITC digging digging in the crates mm -hmm. together with this man right here. What can you tell us about him in this picture? Incredible, man. He he was about to. Uh, take it over the top before he passed away. You know, I think he was, um, as we were collectively hanging out and touring, we were just like, this dude is on his way uh, to do big things. Uh, he was fucking with, uh, you know, Jay. And, but the most, the most illest thing about L is um, we toured Japan with him and Finesse and um, Showbiz and AG, me, OC, Prince. And this dude was such a fucking comedian, man. It's like, <laughs> he was going in so hard on Show and Finesse and just everybody, just cracking on everybody that we was on the bullet train. And Show was like, yo, one more fucking joke, I'm just gonna fuck you up. Like, shut the fuck up. He just was non-stop the whole time. And it, you know, that that's where we come from, like the cracking is is where how I grew up. So he was he had a good good spirit as well as he was a relentless 
MC. So, which of the new artists do you think has a bright future ahead of them? It's a lot, man. Um, it's hard to it's hard to say because everybody I would say is already doing their thing. You know, you, you talk about younger artists and you think J Cole and Black Milk and Blue and Art Future and all these people are taking off right now. So, um, can't really think of anybody who's like under the radar is coming up. All those cats are on the radar right now. So, uh, what do you listen to? What's on your iPod right now? Um, shit, same shit, rock and roll shit, heavy metal shit, Zeppelin. Same always shit I go to for inspiration. I got um Milan Machinko's album. Uh, she sings background with me. She got a. She got an album called Hove Said It Best where she takes Jay-Z's lyrics and she flips them into songs. And I've been listening to that a lot and uh, Jean Grey. I stole a lot of songs from Cake of Death <laughs> that she don't know about. So I stole the songs and I got them. I've been listening to Cake of Death, the unmixed version. Um, that's pretty much it. And last but not least, like, what does Simon say? I mean, Simon was a dude who walked into a venue. He was the host. And he walked into the venue and he was supposed to be hosting and everybody was just standing around, leaning against the wall and shit, smoking cigarettes. And Simon was like, what the fuck is going on? Here, you know, and then the DJ threw on this beat, and he was like, yeah, I get it, I get it. All right, Pharaoh, yeah. we appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> we appreciate your time. Thanks again for an incredible show. Thank y'all, man. It's we hope you so, enjoy so yourself. dope tonight, man. I, I want to just give a shout out to everybody who came out to Vega tonight to represent for War, the new album to represent for, for me. And my click, energy was crazy. Copenhagen is always crazy. Big up to everybody who came out tonight. Shit was amazing.